Alright. Uh, Veggie Supreme? That's right. 1873 is your dog. Just a second, let me get my wallet. Okay. Hey, honey, have you seen the dog? I know just what your owners need. Hi, my name is Dr. Sophia Yin. I'm a small animal veterinarian and an applied animal behaviorist. And I'm here today to introduce a fun new system for training your dog. It's called the Treat and Train Dog Training System, and it's based on positive reinforcement and sound science. In fact, we've already performed several research studies, including one to evaluate the protocol and a second clinical trial to look at the effectiveness in people's homes. So we know this product works well. But rather than have me just tell you about it, let me show you what it does. Ringo is pretty aggressive at the door and he'll charge the door um, if he doesn't know the person that's at the door. and um, he really looks like he's going to attack, so I have to hold him back. I don't open the door um, unless I know for sure that um, the person is perceived by Ringo to be friendly. There was one time when I lived in Oakland, and um, at that point I had a sliding patio door going out into the front, and the door was open, and somebody was coming into my front gate. So I was holding Ringo back because he was going to be doing his normal routine, and he basically dislocated my shoulder. So um, again, he's just really, really powerful. Um, people also will just like try to talk to me and he's barking so loud we can't hear each other and then they realize he's not gonna give up so they're like, see ya, well, they'll just leave. <laughs> so Look at him, he's so cute. I know, how could such a cute guy be so vicious? So anytime anyone comes to the door, whether it's a delivery person or friends or whoever, they bark, and um, which actually is nice because I know someone's at the door, but it's pretty annoying too, and they keep barking, and then when I um, open the door and someone comes in, then uh, Sunny especially jumps on the people, like jumps up repeatedly trying to get their attention, and um, I actually put up a baby gate because nobody wanted to come over my house when they'd ring the doorbell or knock on the door, I'd have to actually put the dogs on leashes and then um, put him back in the bedroom, or at least pull him away from the door before someone could come in, and then I'd put him back in the bedroom. And in fact, whenever anyone comes over, generally, I have to put him in the bedroom because they're just too crazy when people come in. Chloe jumps and barks and gets overly excited. Sometimes she gets so excited that she'll actually pee at the door, and it's basically it. I go to school with Amy, so I come over here and say hi to Chloe on a regular basis. Chloe is super high energy, like more than almost any dog I've ever met. And she gets so excited when you come to the door. Like, she'll just shake from head to toe. And I've been peed on once, <laughs> also when, she, when I came to the door. But you know, she just, she has so much energy. It's almost like she's like, pay attention, pay attention, pay attention to me. And it's hard because she gets all way excited. Unruly. Yeah, the first thing is just the barking. It's like ear piercing, really loud, consistent. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes they bark at everything. They bark whether there's really somebody at the door or whether the doorbell goes off on TV. They they freak out. And then also when somebody does come to the door, they jump on them. They jump, bounce, especially him. He jumps all over the person. And if you're male, sometimes it hits you in areas that you don't want to be hit with his little paws. So it's annoying, not to mention if you're wearing nice clothes and he's been in the backyard, his feet can be very dirty and he'll get you all dirty. Other than that, he's perfect. He's obviously very good looking. Yeah. And he's very, <laughs> and he's very cute and cuddly. So he's a good boy.
can't even compare the difference. Um, he's so much better, um, really all around, not even just at the door. Um, hello. <laughs> But he just listens to me a lot better than he did before. I think the structured um, time that we had together was really good for really both of us. She is so much better to the point where, again, people who have been coming over can't believe the difference. She lays down on the mat. I've actually taken off the baby gate. I can go in and out of the house. My guests can come into the house. Um, she does really well just, you know, laying there. And um, she's excited to see them, but she still lays still um, until I tell her she can get up. And then by the time she gets up, she's calm enough that she's not jumping on people. And people don't mind coming over with her now. And it's made a big difference. I am so happy that I participated in the study. and. My friends and family are very happy that I participated, and I think my dogs are happier too. They, um, you know, they don't have to be locked up as much. When people come over, they can, you know, stay out, be with guests, just lay, you know, they're pretty good about just laying down now. So I think it, it makes a better environment for them, and certainly for me and for my guests. <laughs> what I didn't like about her behavior before was she would just get overly excited and start like jumping on people, kind of basically being in the way and, and being very annoying. Now it's a lot better because she'll just sit on her platform and people can come in and she can have like a moment to calm down before she can say hi to everybody. So. He's a completely different dog completely different dog. Yeah. It's a lot quieter. He doesn't jump. He doesn't bounce around and hit you where it counts. And he goes to his bed and, and is doing great. I think to me it just made training a lot more worthwhile. At the front end of training it seems like a lot of work and you have to invest a lot of effort in it. And it just reminded me that at the back end of the process you end up so much happier with your dog and your dog's happier with you and, and you're happier with your dog and it's worth the investment of time and effort. Now that you've seen what you can achieve with this dog training system, and you've seen how much fun it can be for you and your dog, you're probably itching to get started. Well, if you can't wait any longer, go ahead and skip to the section called Tone and Treat. But if you can wait a few minutes, watch this next section called How Fido Learns. This section is essential for making it through the entire program successfully. Throughout this video, I'll have a number of assistants demonstrating both correct and incorrect techniques including BJ, whose wife Pam trained their dog Carrie in the clinical trial, Mako, an undergraduate student with no training experience, and Sequence, who's also never trained a dog before. We'll also show owners demonstrating mistakes they've made and providing tips based on their experiences. So be on the lookout for these valuable hints as they'll help you and your dog sail through the program. Now on to the learning.